Hi, I always been offensive, like we have to restart this video again because I kind of just knocked over the camera. Today I'm going to be going over Dopey Dog's rucksack. This is it. It's not big, it's not heavy, it's not finished. Or well, it's finished, the only thing that's missing is food. And that's what these two bath pouches are for. So, yeah, if anybody wants to know food, it's just going to go in these two bath pouches. And today I'm going to go for this pouch and this pouch, as you can see, it's a first aid pouch. So, yeah. Before I start, I have some cordage up here. It is the Titan type cordage. I don't know how many feet's there. And I have some, and this one as well. It's just a little bit more grip for me to grab when I'm grabbing it. Um, in the front, as you can see, there's two bottle holders and two bottles. They're 600 mils each, so she carries 1200 mils on her own for herself. Not for me, just for her. Right, we'll start off with this pouch here. So let's begin. I'm going to pause you for a minute, guys, so I can get comfortable, and then I can. I might jump onto the sofa because it's going to be a little bit easier for me to get through. Okay, guys. See you later. Right, I'm back. As you see, I'm on the sofa. It's a little bit more comfortable for me than sitting on the floor, for no reason. Right. As I said, I'm going to go through her first aid pouch bag. I'm not. I'm not going to take. I could. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do, I'll do that actually. I'll take a pouch off. It only takes seconds to put back on. Right, that's the first aid pouch. It might not be big, but it's hard yet. It, it's light as hell. All her pouches might look big, but they are light. Right, as you can see, there's the first aid pouch. When we are leaving, that will come off. If we need to leave and we need to stay away from um, people. So, yeah, that will stay on. For now, that will stay on until, as I said, until we have to stay away from people. Right, I'll move on because I'm rambling now. Right, and this lid, this um, flat pouch, as you can see, it's a little flat. Yeah, I have a triangular bandage. It's vacuum sealed because it's smaller and it takes up less space and it's less weight or less bulk. So, yeah, I'll show you what I do with a triangular bandage. More than likely will be. I'll try the next video. Okay, guys. Right, so that's that one there. That's that. And that one there. What I like about this pouch, it has two sets of six. She's gonna eat now, so you might hear her chomping. So as you can see, it opens up like that. Don't open up any wider. So I'll have to. I'll tilt the yeah, tilt the, into the camera. As you can see, there you go. I'll pull everything out so you can all see it. I have an insect. And this is mainly for mosquitoes and black flies. We did get attacked by black flies the last time we went out. I had a allergic reaction and so did she. So I thought I'd put one of these in. They work with her, so it's fantastic. So yeah, I have a tick tweezers. I'm not going to take them out of the sleeve because there's no point. I'm only taking one of these out because there's no point taking them both out. That there is her sun cream. I have a spray bottle with sun cream in as well, but this is just a refill for the spray bottle. It's full, don't weigh a lot, and most of all, it's only one ounce in, I think it's Imperial one ounce, I'm not percent sure, but it's one ounce basically. It's only an ounce bottle, so it's nice and there's not much in there. And at the bottom, I have some white zinc oxide tape. I have these self sticking bandages, there's no point getting them out because you've seen them before. In the back here, I carry some alcohol swabs and some oh, iodine swabs. Sorry, I had the brain fart then. So, yeah, that's the same ones there. By the looks, I think it's going to be a long video. I do apologise about the length of it. I have a Mylar flag blanket, base blanket or foil blanket. And in the back here, behind these two, there's another little slot. And I carry a water purification kit in here for her. It's easier for me to grab these out if I have to purify water for her than going through my bag. And I do have a water purification kit, as you all know, in my bag. So, yeah, that's that pouch there. Grab it up quickly. Move on quickly because it's 
nearly coming up to five minute mark. It is five minutes, sorry. I have some this antibacterial powder. And then in here is another first aid pouch. And in the back, there's a little flap again. You've all seen these before is the ear mite stuff and the antiseptic and antihistic, whatever you want to call it. It stops the blood from. So, yeah. Right, in here quickly, because as I said, it's now quite a lot, quite long. I have some low adhesive swabs. I have quite a few of them, as you can see there. I have that tourniquet someone gave me. I have the tick tweezers. I have two, or is it three now? Oh, it's three. Are these non wool swabs? I have fine gel. I have white lint. I have another one of those self sticking bandages. And I have some sterilized susum to clean up wounds and hot eyes. Okay, guys, I'm just going to pause you, then I'll show you the next pouch. Right, now we're going to go for this one. You can see this one's empty, there's not a lot in this. In this one, there's some redundancies because she's carrying redundancies for me, like other things you'll see in the, in here. But most of this stuff, as I said, is mainly for her. The only thing I won't be showing you, as I said, is food. So, yeah, let's begin. Shall we? In this pouch, it's the same pouch, so pouch, so in this black. I know I'm gonna get probably the mix of gonna be on this, but I don't care. She carries one of my pocket fire kits and she carries a pocket and she carries a torch. With spare batteries and the batteries don't go out of date until 2021 or 22 like that so yeah so she carries them and that goes in that little pocket there in that little flap there in there yeah in here To me personally, dogs need a, should have their hygiene kit as well as we should have ours. That's my opinion. I'm not trying to let everybody that they should and shouldn't do it. There is um, some things I'm still getting in this kit, and I will explain those afterwards. I've gone through it. Right. In here, I have some flea drops. What, um, dry shampoo or medicated shampoo scrub. Camp soap, the same stuff I use. She uses as well, because at the end of the day she can use it. I'm going to carry exactly the same stuff. And in the back here, something plain and simple, just some antibacterial hand wipes. Right, let's go for the meat and juices now in this pouch. She has a towel, a small one. Not very big, as I said, it's called Michael Toll, but it's good for her. She has some toothpaste. To go along with her toothpaste, she has some toothbrushes. She has some poo bags. Because don't forget, guys, I don't just, this is not just her, her inch bag, this is her camp bag as well when we go out camping. So she'll be carrying this all the time then as well. So, yeah. And excuse me. some of these, if I don't drop them, some of these pop up towels. As I said, there is things missing. Like, I want to get some more rhyming tap treatment, I want to put in some. There's some other bits I want to put in, but I can't think what it's good now. But I know I need to add some more of these in. Because she goes through these like the house on fire. I want to add some wipes, cleaning wipes, just bad wipes for her. They're not, they won't take up a lot of room. And that's about it, I think. Yeah, I think that's it, really. But yeah, that's everything what's in here. It's not a lot, as I said. Don't weigh a lot. I'm not going to force her to have a lot. I don't want her to have a lot. Mm -hmm. As I said, there's a lot of room still left in here. I can still add a lot to this bag, and I will add a lot. I will be adding stuff to it. Right, I'm going to pause you again, guys. I'm going to put this back on the rucksack.
I'm going to grab Dopey Dog, I'm going to bring it down, and I'm going to show you, show you move it on, move on, wait a minute. Okay, guys, see you in a bit. Here we are, guys, this is Dopey Dog wearing a bag, I do apologise about my hand. There you go. As you can see, it fits out really nicely. There is a bit of a wiggle, but it fits out nicely. It bumps, for some reason, quite lower than a back um, piece here, but the time I put the food in the back, keep the knee pouch pouch pouches, it should level out. Um, you can see she's on it. All right, her tail's down because basically she doesn't really I don't this cross. She knows we're not going anywhere, so she gets upset. Right, I'm going to pick up the, um, the tripod for a minute. Ugh. As you can see, there she is. Looking at me. Looking so gloomy and sad. But, as you can see, I'm sorry, but I'm guessing here now. There you go. And off she goes. There you go, guys. She's just did it for you. Just showing you a nice look sack for you. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.